countries and cities of the world. Lagos is also taking huge opportunities in helping to create more jobs, enhance the economy, and ensure that the state of excellence is livable for all residents. First off, the government is introducing 5,000 vehicles into the fleet of Lagride to provide safer, cleaner, faster, digitally enabled, and more reliable intermodal transportation system in Lagos. Governor Babajide Songwolu, who witnessed the signing of the public-private partnership investment says, with this rollout, Lagos has become the first state or entity to roll out at once 1,000 electric and CNG vehicles in the country to meet the varying needs of the populace in the transportation sector. We are happy with the investment we are making today. We are happy with the decision we are making today. We believe that Lagosians will be better off for it. We believe that our citizens, they deserve it. They deserve a cleaner mode of transportation. They deserve a better means of transportation. They deserve, you know, a, a more robust you know, means of transportation that we said is comparable with any means of transportation you have in different parts of the world. We begin to see new fleets of brand new vehicles that will be changing the face of public transportation system in Lagos. But they're not just brand new vehicles, they are e-mobilities, they are smart mobilities, they are mobilities that speaks to our energy transition, that speaks to our climate change effort. Afterwards, Governor Sowulu met with the Indian delegation led by the High Commissioner to Nigeria, Bala Subramania, who chronicles the strong bilateral relations between India and Nigeria, which dates back to pre-independence in 1958. He is therefore seeking to establish a twin city relationship between Lagos and Mumbai due to their similarities. I have heard a lot about your themes project as well as the in state corporate uh, assembly yeah. which is the ease of doing business which yeah. is a very innovative way in which you are interacting so closely with the businesses and all the stakeholders to yeah. see how the ease of doing business is done which is certainly something that we can also learn from you. Governor Samwulu, who relieved his experiences visiting India, having Indian doctors and teachers while growing up, says he looks forward to having a mutually beneficial relationship between both governments. Samwulu also thanked India for hosting the first set of fellows from the Latif Jakandi Leadership Academy in India. We are truly honored and happy that, you know, Nigeria continues to benefit, you know, um, from your wealth of experience, and I will continue to create, you know, a mutually, you know, beneficial partnership, you know, between the two, between the two countries, you know, and um, for for us to to take the view uh, for our first, you know, intern, our first fellows of the leadership academy, and I said to them, that's where you have to go to. That's the only place where you feel it, you see it, but you also learn, you know, greatly from it. And and I've heard. You know, from from a, a whole lot of them, that it was a, it was it was a trip that was worth every every moment of it. And Both parties exchanged iconic gifts depicting the strength and greatness of their economies. Adetola Kayode, OTV News.